So first off, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to download the two plugins I put in the description of the video on alt account really quick. See, so, um, there's two plugins I I put into the video. Also, you have to download four things: Blender, Blender, Lightroom. Um, you should already have Roblox Studio if you don't want to download that. Um, and then go to plugins. You go to inventory plugins and then download or the one that just go to the description, download classic animation editor and load character light. Go to your inventory, go to plugins, and then go low character light, click on that, and then click try in studio. So, um, you're gonna go open it up. Uh, so you see if, if it doesn't instantly show up for like this for you, you just go click on the base plate option, the first one. So we're on you W S to move. Uh wait, W S D yep. And then hold the right click hold down your right mouse to do that, you know, to uh, turn the camera. So first off, click this thing, delete it, backspace. Then we can just delete this load character light. I'm gonna find a little bit different than mine. I don't know, maybe. And then go to um, plugins tab right here. Go to um, load character. I'm gonna go to not OSID YT, spawn R15, X out, and then just go find him. There he is. And then go like drag him above the ground. Now we can go to animation editor. And then just go click on like his chest. Select. And now we have this open. So now you can like click on like his arm. And like move it a little bit. I'm just like the X out of this animation. So now you can go in your character in the explorer, right click, export selection, put it into a folder you'll remember. I have a blender folder myself. And I have to name it a bunch of random stuff. I'm not saying like whatever that is. Save. And now you're gonna go back to your files and go to Blender Lightroom, which is in the description. And then you open that up right there, Lightroom.blend. Open that up. Uh, if it's your first time using Blender, I think it's going to be a little pop-up. Uh, but yeah. So if you have like, a better computer, it won't take that long to render. But it should not take more than like a few minutes. So now we're in. So you could use the... Uh, oh, match I forgot. Wait. Uh, um, wait. <coughs> right, anyways. um, So you hold down the scroll wheel to move it around. Zoom out. You know, that's simple to zoom out. Zoom in. Now, first off, what we're going to do is file in the top left. Import. Wavefront.obj and find the thing that you downloaded. That's an OBJ file, not like an MTL. And then import Wavefront OBJ. There it is. So I'm going to go zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go move it a little bit. So as you see, it's not in the middle. So I'm going to go click the move tool over here. And then move it a little bit. If you guys are really far away, then I would recommend zooming out. For some reason, the move tool like moves along with the character. I don't know why. Um, I just see it right here. I'm going to select him again. Alright, it's pretty much in the middle. There you go. And then, as you can see, it's only... Right now, you only have his texture. So, we're going to click on the third button right here at the top. Boom. Wait. Wait, there you go. Now, you can see your character. So, now you can go over here and click the this toggle the camera view. This is the camera, but it doesn't look very good. So, we're going to click view, navigation, and walk navigation. You can use WSD or shift to go faster. And then you can just get the angle you want. So I'm going to go like, um, hmm, like looking up, I guess I'll have someone like that. Like that, uh, that looks pretty good. All right, like that. And then click out of it, just click, and then hold down the scroll wheel. So now the camera is set up and then we're going to click the fourth option right here. The, the maximum lag computer stuff. Go to Lightroom stuff, and you can change the lighting. For the thumbnail, I did cold 10, I think. But you can do whatever you want. Also, when you do this, I recommend doing it in the camera view. Um, I'm just going to use cold with a strength of 10. You could use like warm, left top, and change the color. Whatever you think looks the best. And I'm just going to go back to my character right here, whatever you named it. Click that. You can also change like the roughness. I'll put it at like half metallic you could add something to that so you can mess up mess around those settings until it looks pretty good now you can go click f12 on your keyboard or if you have like a smaller keyboard like a 65 percent or something i don't think you can click f12 on that so you can just go to render and then it'll be like a render image button um so now it's rendering for me i think i have like a minute left so i'll be back when it is fully rendered all right guys it's done so now we can go to image right here like that and then click save It'll save us, and then I'm gonna name it Thumbnail Tutorial Epic Gamer One. 
Yeah. And it's like save his image. Save. There you go. So now we're going to go over to open a new tab. Go to photo. Pia. Free Photoshop. And then you're going to go new project over here. Wait, it's kind of loading for me. Oh, that's the thumbnail. Wait, wait, wait. You look like this. Click YouTube profile. Create. And then you're going to go to your files. Get the one you just did. The thing you just downloaded. Drag that in. Boom. There is the picture. Alright, so now we need to get the background. So I think first off, you gotta pick what color you want. So, um, I'll do like if you want like pink or something. You do like pink background on a lot of computers, so laggy. And like pink background, like aesthetic, Pinterest. It's usually what you can search up. Go search that up. I'll do this like in a second, like example. Let's get like this one. Really aesthetic, guys. I know. Look at that. You can just drag that in. Move it a little bit, zoom out with like control minus, or the zoom tool. Okay, there you go. Which is this is zoom tool, by the way. And then you can just like scale the image up or down. You can do like that. And then to layer your images, you see like right now this one's on top. You can just do a drag it down. And now we have like a background. So um, for mine, um, I'm just gonna think it's right here. Wait, no, it's not. Where is it? Right here. So what I did is I went to find an overlay. And then, I'm going to copy this from here. So I went to find an overlay. And then actually, you can hide the background if you want, by the way. That's what I'm going to do. Hide. So I had to find an overlay. And then you have to go to the filter and make it normal to, uh, you know, obviously overlay. So you can use overlays if you want. I actually recommend to use them. For the thumbnail, I use this, like, snowy, like, star kind of thing. I think it looks pretty cool to add some more. So you search up for a lot of overlays. And you can go overlay, and you can also change down the opacity, like at 100%, it looks like way too dark. But at 18%, or like 17, or 14, whatever, it looks a lot more like you, it's better, yeah. So once you know your overlay as your background, all that, make sure they're all layered correctly, and it looks really good. It's like the part where you do it yourself. Like, well, it's not like you have to do it yourself, but you can just do it what I'm doing, but like, yeah. Now we're gonna go to get the text. This is totally optional. If you're not adding text, I recommend just doing Control alt t on the, the layer which your character is on and making it a lot bigger so it takes up more space. But since I'm going to be adding text to mine, let's go do that. So first off, for fonts, I recommend you should go to like defont.com because it's really, it's just not my my search results. Uh, I don't want to give you toilet trust. Anyways, I'm going to like go to preview, put your name in there, and uh, now, now you can get all these fonts. Um, I used, uh, I need page two. Uh, where is it? It is, like, right here. Yeah, house decor. I'm just gonna download, like, the recorded. Sure, you go click the download button. Um, open it up. Open file. And then, I don't know which one you're supposed to open. I think it's this one, like, open it. And then, if it looks like this, like, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah, that's good. Then you can go click install. It'll install the font there. And then you can go back to Photopea. Click the text tool. Click. And then go to the font right here. For me, it's for Pokemon. We will probably like Deja Vu Sans. Click on that. Load font. And then pick the file. So I'm going to do that really quick once it loads. There. And then... Go to this house decor, and you're just probably not gonna be that. Probably to be a different font. I want like recorded. So I'm not gonna might open like a random image. If it does, then just go at the top. You see how I have like three of these right here. So you'll click until you find the one that's like yours. And then you have to go to the font. Go search up what you just sort of find. And I think I just put in like recorded demo. Yep. And now you can type that font. So pretty cool. <coughs> So, um, I used, uh, what did I use? I don't remember. Uh, wait, where did it go? Oh, it's gone. My God. Oh, it's gone. It's still here, though. Um, I think I used, yeah, I used house decor. I gotta load that really quick. It's kind of annoying. You have to, like, load them again. Really annoying. Um, yeah, I just gotta do that really quick. Open up that. Where is it? Uh, house decor. And then you can go type your name in. Oh, do not. This font's kind of hard to type with because it's like 
a lot of detail, which also makes it kind of limiting, but it's still pretty cool. To do that, select, control alt T. Probably gonna have to make it a lot bigger. Wait, this isn't even nice font. What? Wait, 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 wait. Not using nice font here. I'm just thinking recorded demo, not the other one. It's like house something. Yeah, this one. House decor. A very good font. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a 10 out of 10. No cap. No, it's like a 9 because you can't do some stuff with it. Get that. Um, I would recommend if you're actually using it for your thing, make it a little bit smaller. Because, like, for some reason, when you're making a logo, it, like, crops into a circle. Which is probably a good thing. It's not being a square. Um, we want you on that. You can go with double click on the text. And then go to the color. I'll do, like, yellow. This is some preset ones. You click out of it. Right click, you can do that. Blending options. <coughs> you can just drag that away. And then I use, for instance, I use, like, an inner glow. That's pretty good. I made this like a uh, whatever color your font was. Opacity up. I don't know. I've, the inner glow, I think, it's to make it a little bit brighter. So I'll make mine like white. And I can use like this. And I'll make it too big. Now it has like a glow inside of it. You can give it an outer glow. I'll make it like a yellow. Um, normal. Opacity 100. You take the size. Um, you also do a 3D like that. And then you can do whatever color you're using. You can change the angle, distance, shrink. I don't like it for this font. It's a little bit weird. You can also use a, a stroke. You actually use two. You can do stroke. You get like black, white, whatever color you want. Like the color you're using. And you can even add another stroke. The what the stroke which is like on the bottom is going to be layered below the one on the top. So yeah. And then you can also use like all the other settings. You can experiment with those. But now let's go back to the character for a little bit. One last thing. Um, first I want to move the text under the character. I think it would just look better. The right click on your character. And then I like to add like some inner glow. Make it like yellow so it looks like this like the sun's kind of reflecting on it. If you add like a bevel and emboss. Make the first color 100%. The second color at zero. The depth 1000%. And then... Um, it was the color. Oh, there. Mode. And you can change the color of that to the same color as your inner glow. It makes it just a little bit more depth. Yeah. But yeah, that's all you really need to know. You can add some more blending options if you want. Um, you can also go to like your image. And then like image adjustments. There's a ton of those like brightness. Like Alright guys, so the video kind of just cut out here. Um, so... Basically, you could go to a, um, image adjustments and turn down like the brightness, the contrast. That makes it look a lot better. I think that was all I said. And then also to save it, you go to the Photopea. And then right now you can go click File in the top left, Export as, and then PNG. And that's your GFX. That's all for today's video. I'll see you next one. And bye, guys.